quick announcement. Uh, we were talking about um, allowing the vendors to come on stage and share, um, advertise what, what they're providing. So I've been going around speaking to some of the vendors personally. Uh, if anybody is ready, uh, we're going to start that now. Uh, so whoever is ready to come up as a vendor, uh, share any information, please come up now. And Kevin, come on, stop playing. <laughs> Shelly, come on. Uh, I want to introduce Queen Shelly from Sun Goddess Sense. Please put your hands together. Ashay, thank you. How y'all doing tonight? Doing today? Y'all good? Okay. Um, my name is Shelly. I'm in set, and my my king, his name is King Wardo Moore. We have a company uh, called Sun Goddess Sense, as well as KNS Apparel, which is our apparel line. And um, Aesthetics Apparel has joined us today in vending because they are our business partner. They make our t-shirts for us. We um, specialize in natural products, sea moss, immune boosters. Um, I make natural body butters. I make therapeutic bath salts. I do a lot of natural body products as well as, um, you know, incense, burning oils. I don't have any burning oils today, but I have plenty of incense. I have beard moisturizer for men. So just come check us out. We got a bunch of stuff over there. We have some dope t-shirts. T-shirts that represent the culture. T-shirts that represent the cause and the red, black, and green. You know what I'm saying? So come check us out. We got a lot going on over there, okay? My name is Shelly, I'm in set. Okay. Uh, Shelly, what's your contact information? Maybe I'll contact you. Yeah. Okay, IG is Sun Goddess underscore sense or Sun Goddess dot sense, and the Facebook like page is uh, Sun Goddess sense on Facebook, and uh, the website is Shelly Amon Set Products, and the phone number is 404-434-7963, and our store, we have a store, our store is lo located inside the Forest Park International Discount Mall on Jonesboro Road. It's 4140 Jonesboro Road, booth 225. Come see us. Thank you, Queen Shelly. Make sure y'all support, support the vendors that we got coming out tonight or today. King Kevin, you ready? Oh, you got the queen? Come on, Kevin. I want to introduce Jess with Jesse Fruity. Thank you. Hi, you guys. Hotel Pier. I'm so honored to be here with you guys. I want to tell you a little bit about my product, Juicy Fruity Sea Moss Smoothies. Um, so on my health journey, I have been taking sea moss for a while and uh, into health, vegan, and um, just having my uh, having the sea moss and sharing it with my family members and friends, encouraging the, them to live a healthy lifestyle. I just kind of realized, I was like, no matter how healthy this stuff is, if it don't taste good, people are just not going to eat it. <laughs> it just don't matter. <laughs> So, um, so that's the, how the idea of Juicy Fruity came. I started to mix the, the sea moss with different fruits and flavors and, and different minerals. And I, I, you know, feel like I have a very, very good blend of sea moss smoothies um, with the flavor. They taste really good. Um, they also have elderberry in them. Oh, this is my daughter. Say hey, Ada. So these, um, so my uh, sea moss smoothies, they all have uh, elderberry in them, they all have uh, um, uh, soursop in them, and they all have uh, wild hour sea moss in them. So I, I, I take pride in making sure that everything tastes good and everything is, is healthy for um, the people who take uh, and, and are patronize my stuff. Um, my Instagram, I have Juicy Fruity on Instagram. If you look it up, Juicy Fruity, just how it sounds, J-U-S-E-E-F-R-U-T-E-E. -E and JuicyFruity.com is, uh, will be live in a couple of days. Thank you guys, I'm honored to be here. Thank you, thank you. Round of applause for Jess, Juicy Fruity. Uh, next vendor, Bakiba. Uh, next vendor I wanna bring up, uh, I know her as the umbrella lady. 
<laughs> Sister Bakiba. Come on, Sister Bakiba. Share with the family uh, what you provide today as far as bending. Thank you very much. Uh, they call me the umbrella lady. Rain is my business. It's going to rain, snow, sleet, or hail. You might need it for a day like today. Sun. All right, my name is Glenda Bernadette Allen. Some know me as Sister Bakiba. That's my non-slave name. And I brought Sister Gonda L along with me as well. I'm going to go into just a couple of things, and I'm going to keep it tight and sweet. <laughs> um, but anyway, I do a lot of education. This umbrella is my umbrella design. Uh, and I raise funds for the Homeless Network. I paid a dear right. price. Thank you, sir. I paid a dear price here in Atlanta in reference to the housing arena. And we're still all paying a price. Yeah. We're having problems finding places to live. The rent is too damn high. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we got to keep this thing going because look, as we look around us, uh, gentrification is taking place. Yeah. And it's putting us all out. So this is my cause and my fight, and I'm still fighting for it. So people fight with me and us in reference to the housing. Um, I do education. I've been doing it for over 20 years. I'm a grant writer. I do grant writing business plans, set up nonprofits, corporations, LLCs, S Corp, C Corps. I do 8-8 certifications for those who want to do business with the government as well. I have helped a lot of people get into the business arena, and I have coached a lot of people in the business arena. So I am very thankful for what I have done in the next couple of years. I'm probably going to be giving it up, but I have paved the way for a lot of people, right. just like these vendors out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. So, but I'm still going to be doing it for a while longer. So those that may want, you know, consultations and so forth in the business arena, you know, I'm still available. But I do have a booth over there. Uh, I, they, uh, like I said, the umbrellas I do, I have these manufactured. If you have goods that you're trying to get manufactured as well, that is a part of what we do as well, so that we can have our own products. And it's okay if you copy somebody else's product. Why not? That's what they did to us. <laughs> okay? So I've got Sister Gonda L here with me as well, because we're about education. We do this book as well. Um, it's called The Return of the Ancient Ones. And this is Empress Verdes. I'm not sure if some of you are familiar with her. Uh, but Sister Gonda, this brother over here talked about indigenous. She pushes indigenous because we are indigenous to this land. And I just want her to say just a few words, and then we're going to give up the mic. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here in the midst. Thank you for your time. Greetings. I'm Gonda, Empress Gonda L. I'm from Clarksdale, Oklahoma County, Mississippi, where the Mississippi Delta Project was done for the indigenous people. Empress Verdia CTR, Washita, Tunica, Ghost, and L Bay did the Declaration on the Rights for Indigenous People and the Mississippi Delta Project. The Mississippi Delta Project is a contract with China, Russia, Cuba, and 100 plus other nations to come into Clarksdale, Oklahoma County, Mississippi to give the indigenous people back control of their commerce and their cotton. And we will not stop until China, Russia, Cuba, North Korea, and all of the other nations are brought in here to remove the Caucasians from our soil, the American soil. And the Mississippi Delta Project was done by Empress Verde CTR, Washita, Tunica, Ghost and L Bay, and President Bill Clinton stopped it in Clarksdale, Mississippi, and Zell Miller stopped it in Savannah, Georgia, and President Barack Hussein Obama started it back, and he sent Kasim Reed to, to uh, uh, Savannah to watch Joe Biden with the project and to the Panama Canal, and he sent a young man to Clarksdale, Oklahoma County, and they the Clay and murdered him and left him on the levee. Wow. I have cards out here. Anybody who wants to receive their laying back and uh, help to move the Mississippi Delta Project, which is what Empress Verdia CTR, Washita, Tunica, Ghoston L. Bay died for. And we have her book here on sale for $35 if you get it here today. If we mail it to you, uh, it's $45. But I do have my cards here today, so stop by the booth to get a card if you'd like to have the information on getting our indigenous land back. Peace and love, everybody.
Sister Bakiba and Sister Gonda L. Um, Want to bring up uh, next vendor, um, Brother King Kevin Dorable. Please give your hands, put your hands together for King Kevin. Bless her, bless her. How y'all doing today? Uh, excuse me for a second. I'd like to do a, uh, just a quick moment of silence for our people in Haiti that just had an earthquake this morning. If you guys didn't know about it. When I say Marcus, y'all say Garvey. Mike check. When I say Marcus, you say Garvey. Marcus. 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 All right, just making sure you guys is up. Uh, my name is King Kevin. I'm an author, filmmaker, and mentor. It's my table right there. I wrote three books. Uh, this is the third one. Just came out two weeks ago, The Winning in the Mirror, Activating Your Superpowers, Mind, Body, and Spirit. And as a matter of fact, Marcus Garvey, um, he's featured in this book because of what he talked about confidence. Um, I wrote this book when I found out that the number one growing population in committing suicide is young black teenage boys. Oh no! You guys didn't know it. They, they are outnumbering white. What? They don't need my. Hold on, hold on. He get it, he get it. We wait. All right, all right. There you go. Don't worry about it. Yes, so um, I was working on a another book at the time, but when, when I found that out, I wanted to write something of substance, you know, something that our community needed. And so I wrote this book in that spirit, so definitely check it out. And uh, also, we have a GoFundMe for our nonprofit organization, Courage to Believe International. Um, the program is called Rosa Pierre. Creative Arts Center, and what we're doing is we're teaching the youth how to write their own books, their films and videos, and also culinary arts. So you can, if they want to get into, you know, cooking food and, uh, you know, t cooking show, whatever. So definitely check it out, my website, kevindorver.com, or you can go to GoFundMe and look up Rosa Pierre Creative Arts Center. And uh, yeah, I'm here. Instagram is at Courage to Believe. Website, kevindorba.com. How do you spell that? <laughs> Good question. Uh, Kevin Dorba is spelled K-E-V-I-N. Last name Dorba, D-O-R-I-V-A-L. Definitely want to look me up. Don't wait till I get in the helicopter and then try to, you know, say, hey, you remember me at the Marcus Garvey event? This is the third year I've been here. Actually, this book's going to be on Oprah, so I'm speaking this into existence. The Winning Mirror will be on Oprah. And I also want to say a quick quote about uh, Marcus Garvey. He said, without confidence, you are twice defeated. With confidence, you've already won before you've begun. And I used to ask myself, yeah, the, the, the quote seems self-explanatory, right? But as I kept reading over the years in his book, Life and Lessons of Marcus Garvey, he talked about many different things. And when I seen that quote and reading the content around that quote, I realized what he meant. Everything is spiritual. So if you don't believe in yourself, you're not only lost in the present, in your physical body, but you're also lost in the spiritual realm where everything starts at first. So, but when you have confidence, you've already got the victory in your mind, and then it develops into your spirit, and then you manifest it into the real world. So that's, I believe that's what he meant. What you think? Yeah, I agree. I agree. All right, all right, he agreed. Anyway, you guys have a blessed one, and uh, Please support all the vendors here today. Back on Black Love, baby. Thank you, thank you, King Kevin. Uh, next vendor that we want to bring, well, let me, before we go to the shrine, just a quick uh, announcement again. We are selling water, uh, Division 421, the UNIA, the big red, black, and green flag. Anybody need water, we are selling water back there. I think that's the only thing that we're really vending, uh, other than membership. Uh, next vendor, not really a vendor, more of an organizer, um, Baba Ola Tunji from the Shrine of the Black Madonna. Please put your hands together. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm an I'm a organizer and a vendor. <laughs> uh, we got to be about entrepreneurism, right? Uh, because a white man is showing us very clearly that he's kicking us out of his world. So we got to be on the world of our own. 
The blessing is that we all got talents and skills that we can use to do that. Uh, the only thing is that we need to support each other. So please support all of the, the vendors. Uh, try to buy something from everybody if you can. Uh, we have an initiative that we're trying to develop a collaboration with black farmers because uh, we got to eat, right? And we need to be able to feed ourselves. That's a part of uh, liberation, the ability to be able to feed yourself. I want to announce that at the Shrine of Black Madonnas, we do have the largest black owned farm in America. What? Yeah, it's in Abbeville, South Carolina. Uh, and so we are looking to do collaborations with others in terms of uh, reaping the resources of actually owning our own land. But we do have a, a neighborhood or community farmer that's uh, out front there, brought all kind of uh, vegetables and goods to us, yeah. directly to us. And that's what we want to develop, that kind of collaboration. So if you know farmers, have them to contact our cultural center so that we can start working on something. We got the second largest parking lot right here, and we want to be able to bring our farmers in so they can provide food to our community. And so uh, that's one thing that we're working on. But while I'm mentioning the uh, cultural center, as our co-host today, Right now, the Culture Center is open on Fridays and Saturdays from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. So we're not closed. We're open Fridays and Saturdays right now from 1 p.m. to, uh, to 7 p.m. So uh, come out and support your cultural center. Uh, Sister Amanika, who's our Culture Center director, will be very glad to have you come out and service us. Uh, and yourself as well. Uh, on the other side of that, I have my own little business that I got started that came out of the African history class. Most of you know me from doing the African history classes. Uh, we had them free and open to the public for over uh, 17 years. Uh, this COVID virus has basically dri driven us inside, but I'm working on starting up a virtual class. Hopefully by the end of the month, we'll have the African history class back up uh, virtually. So we'll be able to reach more people, so continue to check us out at the Culture Center to see when we'll be, on, when we'll be online. But all over that time, we've been creating products through the African History Club. I just want to mention a couple of them. The first one is that uh, posters. These are 11 uh, by 17 posters, laminated, 10 millimeter laminations, and they give us an opportunity to document our heroes and sheroes. In every black home, we need posters or pictures of our heroes and sheroes. So our sons and daughters can say, Mama, Daddy, what's that? Who is that? And we can tell them about the history and culture of our own people. So if you don't have one or you need more, stop by our table on your way out and look at the, uh, the number that we already had. This is a beautiful one that we did for our African queen, uh, Francis Cress Wilson. Secondly, we have a notebook that has eight DVDs. I have a series of these that's at the table, and I'm still producing others. This particular one is Nile Valley Civilization. That's where it all started. If you got any questions, go back to the Nile Valley Civilization, and that's where all the answers are, okay? Before the Greeks and before the Romans, we were doing it in the Nile Valley. So it's well documented by our brand master teachers, eight DVDs for $20. And we got some other series back there. Finally, uh, we have the People's Library. Some of you are pretty much aware of the People's Library. Over the last 17 years, we've been digitizing our whole history and culture. We start out with ideas around the origins of the universe. We debate those ideas, and then we move and document that everything started in Africa. Human beings started in Africa. Civilization started in Africa. So we document them in a digital library. It has over 100,000 files. Now, many of our uh, parents have decided that we're not going to send our kids back to school. That because we live in the information age, we can do better educating our children at home. But you do need a resource. So this resource has over 100,000 files uh, in it. It has a video library, image library, maps, charts, graphs, everything that you need to get started on educating your children at home or if you're a history buff. It's, uh, it's an ideal thing to have. So stop by our table, I can tell you more about the digital library and what we're doing in the African History Club. Thank you. Thank you, Baba Olatunji. Please put your hands together, Baba Olatunji, for the Shrine of Black Madonna. Um, we're going to go to, we're going to let the DJ come back on for about 15 minutes, uh, and then at 3 o'clock, the Shrine of the Black Madonna is going to do their presentation. Um,
but we got a lot more uh, speakers and entertainment um, ahead, so just stay tuned and I'll turn it back over to the DJ, Russ Irate. Irate!